So today, a huge new firmware came out, and I'm sure that it will make a lot of you guys out there very happy. Especially those who think that Zim Apex has better mouse movements than Matrix. But before we jump into the details, you have probably already noticed a change in my voice. I have some really busy months ahead of me in the university, and because of that I have decided to clone my voice with an artificial intelligence. So every now and then I will use this voice for the next few months to save me some time. And once I have more free time again, I will upload videos with my own voice again. So let me know what you think about this voice in the comments down below. Now as for the changes, we have a lot to cover. First off, you can find the link to the new firmware in the video description. This time you must again update both, your Zim firmware and your manager. As for the manager, you cannot use the one from the App Store anymore. That one is older and doesn't have these new features yet. Instead, you must download the new manager from the Zim forum. The link to it can of course be found in the video description. So let's have a look at the changes. I will directly start with the third change because it is in my opinion the most impactful one. An increasingly amount of Zim Apex users have complained about the mouse movements of Apex being better than the ones of Zim Matrix, and more so that the aim assist is also much better when playing with Apex. This is now a thing of the past. This new Matrix update is reintroducing the synchronization feature of Zim Apex. This is what has caused the differences between Apex and Matrix. Over the last few weeks, the best Overwatch players in the world have tested and refined this feature, and thanks to their amazing input, the aim assist and mouse movements behave exactly the same now as on Zim Apex. Now here is how you can find this new feature. Go into your hip configuration and expand the advanced settings under the sensitivity option. There you can now switch the smoothing preset to synchronized. This equals the synchronization profile of default from Zim Apex. But that is not everything. You can also change and adjust the synchronization. For that, switch to custom smoothing and set all values to zero. This equals synchronization off. That is how Matrix normally operates. By changing the precision value, you can now adjust the synchronization effect. A precision value of 5 is for example the same as synchronization default. For synchronization common, use a value of around 15, and for synchronization slow, change it to around 35. The cool thing about this new firmware is that you can also create your own synchronization profiles now. If you for example want to use a synchronization that is right between off and default, then change the precision value to something between 0 and 5. Each precision adjustment will change the synchronization and affect your mouse and aim assist behavior. So if you for example want to have the feeling of synchronization default, but with a lighter aim assist, then use a precision value of 3 or 4. So not only can you now use the old synchronization profiles of Zim Apex again, but you can also fine tune them to make them feel even better. In Overwatch 2 for example, a precision value of 4 or 5 feels the best in my opinion. Now as for the other features, we now have rumble support for controller players, and the turn assist feature is also back. You can find the turn assist feature in the smart action manager. Another big change is about groups. Changing groups is now much easier and more intuitive. Then we have another two quality of live changes. Especially the scroll wheel change is a great one. You can now define the duration of scrolling inputs. This allows you to make your scroll inputs more reliable or more responsive. You can follow the instructions from this topic to adjust your scrolling speed. At last we have a few bug fixes. I will not go too much into detail here as they are all self-explanatory. The most important one is the first fix. On some international keyboard layouts there are keys which Matrix couldn't recognize so far. This has been fixed and all keys should work now. The last change is an improvement to the user interface of the Smart Action Manager. A lot of icons in the Smart Action Manager have been reworked to increase the readability. Here you have an example screenshot. As you can see it is now much easier to understand that this Smart Action is moving the crosshair to the right side for 500 milliseconds at a speed of 5%. Now as always guys, if you like this new firmware or you discovered a bug, then please share your experience in the Zim forum. The Zim team is always trying to make your experience better and better with each update. So don't be shy to share your feedback in the comments down below or in the Zim forum. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button or maybe even subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any of the upcoming videos. 
Also, contrary to popular belief, this channel is not an official Zim channel. I run this channel in my free time to bring you guys the latest Zim news and tricks. So if you want to support what I do, then maybe consider to join the YouTube channel membership. Channel members usually get around 1-4 to four weeks of early access to all new videos. Plus, we also have a nice little Discord to discuss Zim settings and other stuff. But that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.